So it is finally, finally the day I've been waiting for that all of my work, well me my dad's work, got put into. You guys already saw that video where I kind of break down how I made the pond. Today, me and Megan are transporting all of the fish from this little pond that we had just in our pool area into the pond that's behind my shed. I'm so freaking pumped. First thing we gotta do is find the pump, drain the pond, and then take them all out. Right here. The shed is a mess from this project. There's the pump, by the way. I'm pretty sure I showed it in the other video, but if I didn't, that's the pump that we're using. The pond is right on the other side of uh, that sh of the shed. Pond is almost down. I'm just gonna wait a tad bit, tad bit longer so it's a little bit easier. But I'm like, I haven't really seen the sizes of some of the fish in here. You can obviously see the koi and goldfish, but with the pickerel, the bluegill, the catfish, I have no idea how big they got. So we're about to find out. It looks like most of the fish are over here, away from the pump. So I'm gonna go over there and give it a couple scoops. Look how big that cold, that goldfish got. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Fish number one. So we're draining a little bit more. This has proven to be pretty difficult, but I tried to grab those first couple of them. It just stirred everything up. So we got to get the water level a little, little bit lower. Megan's going to give it a shot. We lowered it down a lot more. Look at that. First try. Got one of our goldfish. There you go. There he is. So we got four in there already. We got a tiny bluegill that we have to get out of this corner. It's stuck up here in the upper level with just a little bit of water. Got him. Got a nice big old white one. Ooh. Going into here. He's like white and yellow. Pretty cool. Get in there, buddy. We'll get the last orange one here. We'll dump these guys off. Let this uh, calm down a little bit. Let the Dust settle. He looks little. He looks tiny from here. I guarantee he has a big stomach though. Got him. <laughs> oh no, he's a small guy. Alright, we'll let this settle for a couple minutes here. We are going to go dump our, our first, lo well, second load off camera. My dad, when we got the pump running, he wanted to put a couple in there. So we put two in there already. But we have a good seven of them going in right now. Because I don't want any of this gook going into our clear pond. Look at how good, look how big these fish got. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Here comes a couple more, Megan. Beautiful freaking colors. God. Look how big this guy got. Look at his stomach on him. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a cool colored one, huh? Yeah. This one's got red eyes. Look at that. They're like, what the heck are we doing in here? This thing's like 10 times, it's like the ocean. Another cool looking one. Orange fins, orange tail, red eyes, completely white body. I'm not getting you dropping it into the water. And the last one of our first haul here. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Now, look at all them. <laughs> so we got our koi in. They look like they're already trying to find cover to hide under. Uh, we got the big, our big koi already in there from yesterday. They're wow. sitting right under here. Right where, the, right where the white one is, there's two more. Got this one trying to find some cover here. And uh, they're kind of just checking out the place, scoping it out. On to the next haul. Me and Megan are going back to the pond. Hopefully it cleared up a little bit. There's a lot more fish in there, guys. This thing, to... if we get them all, it's gonna be, be filled up. I can't wait to do the catfish and the pickerel. Those were 
Oh, I think they're gonna be. I think they're gonna be pretty good size. Let's go, Abby. I think I see one of the fish. I can't tell if it's a pickerel or a catfish or a bluegill. I'm not sure, but I think I can see one over here in the corner. Can I get him? I got him. It's the, I think it's the green sun. I think oh, it's wow. I think it's a that's sunfish. That's beautiful. Look at that. I think that's the green sunfish. It it's not the blue. blue. It's not the bluegill because it doesn't have the vertical line. Get this guy dug down a little bit. There he is. Ooh. Another one of these goldfish going into the pot. Oh, there he is. What do you think about that, Abby? So as I suspected, the freaking catfish was dug down in the mud, so I was digging up and digging up all this mud, and I finally found him. He's in here somewhere, it's kind of dirty. See, there's, there's just a glare. He's right up here in the corner, right next to that other fish. He's actually pretty big. So right now we have two bluegill in there, one right there, one right there, you can't see them probably. And uh, we have a catfish right there and another koi right there. Just gonna go in there, scoop one and see what I get. Wait, let me see Chris. He's out, look how big he is. Monster. Okay, got the bluegill. I don't know if he's bluegill. Don't get mad at me in the comment section, please. Going into the pond. Oh, there's the catfish. Look how big he got. Look how big that catfish got. He's freaking oh huge. Hi, right, buddy. I hope you like your new home. It's definitely a lot bigger than last. And there he goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so, he's like the same size as Craze. Maybe even a little bit bigger. Don't worry, man. I'll drop off some food for you in a second here. Like you can see him just because I have him in my shadow. Oh. He He's trying to find a nice little hiding spot. We're going to Petco later, guys, and we're going to try to get these guys some nice cover so they're not so open. Oh, look at them. You can see the catfish trying to find something to hide under. He's going to keep searching until he feels comfortable in it. But we're going to go get some cover for these guys so they have something to hide in. He's trying to climb up the side. The big fish. Right, I think we have one more fish in here. Look at her. Shelly's looking at her fishy friends. Oh, there's a bee. <laughs> Here they come. I can see them. Yep, and the little bluegill. Oh, there's one. And there's the little bluegill. This little bluegill got caught off camera. We saw him, he was trapped on the upper level. And now he's gonna be in a freaking monster ocean. <laughs> oh, look there's at, the other bluegill, right over there. There. Here, oh, there's crazy. Look how big this thing is. And last but not least, for the koi, I think that's it for the koi. Is that guy? Look at all the fish in here, man. So I think, I don't know what happened. Leave it in the comments below what you think happened, but the pickerel are not in there anymore. Um, I don't know if an animal got them. I saw them not too long ago. I have, I have no idea. I had two of them in there and if any of the fish survived, I would think it's them because they would just eat the other fish. But that's not the case. Two of them are gone. I didn't even see any bones or anything. Like granted, I was just scooping, but still. But we got all of the fish in here. As of right now, we have a bunch of those koi fish. Uh, we have three bluegill, Megan? Was it three? I know we have one small one, one big one. Did we get one before that too? I don't think so. Alright, so I think we have two of those. Um, we have, and we have a catfish. Wherever that catfish is, I think you found a spot somewhere. So right now we are going to Petco. We're going to get actual, not just bread anymore. I want to feed these fish nice and good. We're going to get goldfish and koi food for the goldfish and koi, obviously. I'm going to be putting rugs down at the bottom of the hill to get worms for the bluegill and catfish. And I'm also going to be getting like uh, dried crickets and Try, or mealworms and stuff like that at Petco, and we're also getting um, some cover. We're gonna buy something just for the fish to hide under for the time being until we start putting more stuff into the pond. There's our bluegill right there. There's one right there. Oh, he just went behind the rock as we spoke. There is crazy sticking out. 
Look how big he is compared to the other goldfish. Oh my god, he's huge. That was one of the main reasons why we had to make a bigger pond is because the fish were just plain old getting too big for that little pond over there. Before we go, I found this little guy. Nice worm. I'm gonna toss him in. I don't know if anyone's gonna eat yet. They might be a little bit stressed out with the new uh, location. But, oh. Oh, he's got it. He called dibs. He is not sharing that at all. And it's down the gullet. Got back from Petco, or PetSmart, and uh, we got a few things just to tide us over for now. We'll tide the fish over for now. Um, we got some food, and we also got a little bit of cover that they can hide under. So all the fish are all just out in the open. Well, there's a couple under there's a couple under the pipe, but I'm going to be sticking these two pieces in there just for something to hide in, hide, for them to hide in for the time being. See if it'll fall. I put that one right on the rock right there. Then this one. Oh, by the way, guys, I I rinsed uh, these two pieces off. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to rinse them before you put them in anywhere, so. Have it fill up with water, and I think I'm gonna throw this one. Oh, no. <laughs> it flipped over. Right there. Look at this, guys. They're already all crowding around this new piece, checking it out. Oh, there's one swimming out of it right now. Two already swam out of it. Sweet. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna be making a bunch of content with this pond. Um, main goal is to get bass in there. Some small bass. I don't know where I'm gonna catch them, but it's gonna get done. That is one of the main reasons why I made this pond, but I already had all these other fish in the other pond, so I might as well transfer them and they can all live together. It took a lot of time and effort to get this thing up and running, and to the standards that we would like it to be at. Super satisfied with the product, and uh, I mean, just check it out. It's freaking awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.